legs on, mind off. Let's go. This place is stupid. I don't even know why I keep coming here. I mean, just look at it. Whole bunch of nothing. Eh, you know. Let's do a special, special horizontal walk through for all you folks that like the horizontal stuff. You know who you are. I think there's an airplane about to come buzz the tower up here. I don't know. Our city of was Buddha Loop, Deep Canyon return check in. Here I am in the Deep Canyon, just past the third waterfall. After uh, coming down from up there where, unfortunately, I left my hat. I really don't have it in me to hike back up there today to get that thing. I'm not completely sure I've got it in me to hike back up there tomorrow to get it either, because it'll probably be blown off. Oh, I've had that hat for 20 years almost. Oh well, it's getting worn out. Maybe it's time for a new hat. Maybe I should go get the one that I left. Right now it's time for coffee. That's what I know. First of was truck edition report Sunday, October 16th, 2022. After a lovely day out here yesterday in the high country, I'm returning today because I lost my hat up there somewhere. And while I don't have much hope of retrieving it, given the windy nature of the Owyhees, I would feel a bit remiss if I didn't do everything in my meager power to try and get it back. After all, I've had that hat for almost 20 years. So, here I am, my silly self, about to uh, go running up that hill and make a deal with God. Thanks for joining me, everybody. Whew. Halfway to halfway to halfway? Uh, there's halfway to halfway. That's almost halfway anyway i think maybe i'll turn this into an annual event for students you know find hensel's hat just take a hat drop it somewhere in the high country give people a marker and say okay it's in within a mile of this go find it who wants to play and this this is where we really start to climb yes indeed and I can't escape the strange feeling that I've done all of this before, perhaps very recently.
haven't done this two days in a row now, I don't really think it gets any easier. It doesn't feel any easier than it did yesterday. That's something I don't think I'm really accurately mapping in with the way I'm tracking my courses out here is the fact that very rarely, I, I will never walk straight up a hill like this. I switch back, oh, I've switched back uh, four times, five times since just down there in that gully. And that definitely has to be adding to my mileage because, man, I looked at my mileage yesterday and it was just like barely five miles and I just, it kicked my butt. Today's probably really going to kick my butt because it's the second time I did it. And you just have to keep telling yourself, this is what I choose to do with my personal time instead of resting. <laughs> this is what I choose to do with my personal time instead of resting. And then you wonder why you're so tired. <sighs> mm. And once you get up here, it's not really bad going at all. There's still a couple hundred more feet of elevation if you're really a glutton for punishment, but it's not too bad. Uh, a little bit of rise and fall, but a couple different cow highways to choose from and a gorgeous view. And this is some of my favorite kind of trail. High elevation, nice and crunchy. What I call the cow highway because it's here mostly thanks to the cows. You know, and deers and coyotes, I suppose. But yeah, just nice meandering trail up in the high country. Got the whole place to myself. Maybe a coyote or two. Well, alrighty. I made it back into the deep canyon, or at least the top of the deep canyon. Now I just have to find a gray hat. You see a gray hat out here anywhere, guys? Uh, leave me a comment, please. I gotta be getting close. I know it was around here somewhere when I stopped to drink water. There it is! There it is! I found it! Oh, I found it! And now that I climbed all the way up and over and down here to get my hat, I got to climb back up. Or I can go back out the sketchy way I did yesterday, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to go back up. And the road down at the towers doesn't seem so bad until you get to the steep part, which is, uh, yeah, I'll show that to you here in just a second. I don't know, I'd say this is about halfway down, I'm taking a little sit down break for a second before I get to that there steep part that I mentioned before it's down there oh, sure has a nice view though isn't it It's not much of a waterfall, but it looks like a great place to have some coffee.
figured since the first waterfall was right here when I came down from the top, might as well have coffee and lunch here, right? It's cold. Daddy needed coffee. Daddy needed coffee bad. Oh, two or three more of those and I'll feel human again. Oh, Italian style pepper steak. I've only had this one other time. That's pretty good. I don't usually do a lot of tomato stuff on the trail because, you know, but uh, this one's tasty. And uh, not too spicy. Hot. It is rice and Italian peppers and steak and tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take a minute and enjoy that rabbit. Well, folks, it's been another great day on campus. A little uh, unexpected, uh, not really planned, extremely strenuous. <laughs> Nonetheless, another great day. I appreciate you here, being here, and being part of it, even though I can't talk. <laughs> oh, I really feel fortunate be able to experience this place and uh, no matter how many times I come out no matter what I do it never really seems real and so did you remember to make the time to take the time and uh, to get out <laughs> I sure did uh, We've all only got so much time, no matter how much time we've got. It's important to make the most of it, and that means enjoying at least some of it. So if it's not a great day where you are right now, why don't you stop and make it one? I'm not going to lie. I'm a little jealous. 
I had some, had more overnighters out here this year than I have. <laughs>